When setting up a drive, the first step is to mount the drive. Install the drive on the back plate by using the template as a guide. Frame 1 and 2 drives will use 3 mounting screws and then frame 3 drives will use a 4th mounting screw as well. To mount the drive on DIN rail, press the DIN rail release clip, slide into position and then release the clip once the drive is secure. Step 2 is to wire your drive. Start by connecting your motor earth followed by your motor phase cables. Then your supply earth, followed by your supply cables. Once you've connected all of your power cables, move to the control wiring. There's a wiring guide available in the step-by-step -step guide and in Marshall. Start by connecting your analog inputs and analog output to the first row, Then move to the second row which are for your digital inputs and your digital output. And then the top row for the relay connections. This video describes commissioning the Commander S with Connect on a PC or laptop. Start by plugging in your CT comms cable into the 485 port on the front of the drive and powering on the drive. Plug the other end of the cable into the USB port on a laptop or PC and open the Connect software. This will bring you to the Connect homepage. From here, select New Project from Network Scan, then select Scan Serial RTU Network. Once Connect has found your device, select a new project with selected drives to create a new project. From here, select online. This will form a live connection between the software and the drive. And then select fast start, which is a wizard to get your drive up and running. The first step is to configure your motor. You can select from a drop down list of pre configured motors or custom motors that you've saved previously. Select display manual configuration to enter the motor details yourself. It's important to enter your motor rated current, rated speed, rated voltage and motor rated power factor. The next step, you can configure how you want to control the drive speed and how you run and stop the motor as well. You can then configure your acceleration and deceleration rates and your minimum and maximum frequency limits. Once complete, send these parameters to the drive and you're ready to run your motor.